Hello YouTubers, it's Red Elric here. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people in the pipe smoking community have grown beards. Uh, it's a popular thing, so I've decided to join the club and grow a beard. Uh, as for the hat, uh, it's the 1st of April today, so it's April Fool's Day, so I've put my fool's hat on. And uh, oh, I forgot, I'm not allowed to have a beard. Yeah, so I've got my jester's hat on because it's April Fool's Day, April Fool. Um, I've got my falcon shillelagh in purple with a straight Dublin bowl on. And a nice little rubber mouthpiece to make it easy to clench. And... I've had a delivery arrive today. I've had two things on order, uh, which I ordered both of them yesterday. Um, one was something I got off eBay. Excuse me. <clears throat> something I got off eBay, and the other thing was from GQ Tobaccos. Um, being as I ordered about 1 o'clock yesterday and it arrived this morning, I'm guessing it's probably the one from GQ Tobaccos because they are normally really quick. So, little box. Good things come in small packages. I'll just open this. And one of the things you're going to think is probably an April Fool's Day joke. But I promise you, if, if it is GQ Tobacco, yeah it is, yeah, GQ Tobacco. So I promise you, this isn't a joke, this is a genuine falcon bowl. I'll just take some of the gubbins out, here it is. This. Oh, he didn't, didn't put a dry ring in for me, thank you very much, Lynn. This is a falcon chimney bowl, which I think is a new thing. <laughs> it's a bit mad. It's going to look a bit bizarre, but I like that. I like the mad and bizarre. So I'm going to try that on my rainbow, bent red rainbow. Dark red, isn't it? It almost looks a bit like the extras. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice. I like the way they just haven't gone for the normal sort of rustic pitted or anything like that. They've actually put something into it. So, right, let's chisel something weird. It looks vaguely African to me, but. Mm hmm that looks as mad as a bucket of fish wow mm, quite suits the colour as well madder than Mick Mac mad let's try it on the straight one That's all right, too. That looks a bit odder. It's like I'm going to play croquet or something. I don't know. That's good, but I think it looks much better. I was going to have this was going to be my Halloween pipe and what I wanted to get was one of the apple bowls that looks um, reminds me a bit of a pumpkin in either the hunter so it's a light colour and looks a bit like a pumpkin or if I could actually get one of the old where they're sort of um, a stained smooth clear sort of almost like they're varnished bowls you could, used to be able to get them coloured bowls um, an orange one of them with a twisted purple stem would have been looked would have looked very sort of Halloweenish, but 
you know, I like it. But yeah, this, this is the business. Probably don't even need a rubber thing on the end because this is the multi-purpose grip, which I find I like the multi-purpose grip on the bent pipes much better. Mm. That's the business. Certainly going to have people making comments about this when I smoke it in public. So what else you got? Now, I bought some um, Garwith Hogarth Cherry and Vanilla American Blends. The reason for that is I, I wondered whether it was going to be exactly the same as the stuff that I got from Cigar and Snuff. Because if it is, I guess that's where they get it from. And even if it's not, I like the vanilla and cherry so much now that that's okay with me. Looks exactly the same. And it's about as moist. Smells exactly the same. I know you can't smell it, I'm showing you the tobacco. Yeah, you. Yeah, I reckon that's where they get it from. Because, and it's, it's cheaper. So, it's cheaper to get it this way off the internet. So, I know that I haven't got to make a special trip to that shop next time I'm in London just to get that tobacco because I can get it anyway. That was the one. Um, oh yeah. I got some more rubber tips because I've got quite a few falcons and I find that they, for me, they really need a rubber tip. I, not so much with like Peterson pipes, I never bother with putting tips on those. But the falcon, the falcon stem, the mouth bit is so small. Um, I think it's better with a, a, a tip. I've got a few of those. Cheap as chips. And also, I've got a pipe I've had for quite a few years here. Is my Fallon. Fallon pipe and it was the first pipe that I ever had that had got um, nine millimeter um, filter um, but I'm not mad on filters I, so I got me a little bung thing adapter that you can put in so that you can smoke a filter pipe like a normal pipe you don't need to worry about having to keep buying replacement filters and I've actually I've got one of these already which came unexpectedly when I bought my Dracula 221 so that just fits in there hopefully I'll be able to get it out if I want to buy some filters and hopefully oh, that's made it a heck of a lot tighter oh, I'm not gonna fall I'm gonna have a play about with that maybe put some graphite or something on it but that's a decent draw now. Yeah, so I've already got one of these little adapters which came in my t Dracula 221 when I didn't realise that that was actually a filter pipe. But it came with an adapter. But rather than swap it round, because this adapter was only, I think it was 99 pence, which is nothing, is it? Because that's only 99 pence, I thought, well, I'll get one for this pipe. Anyway, I'll sort that out later. Uh, these little things. Oh, like little things like that. They're only pence anyway, so it's no big deal. And Samuel Garwith Demerara Flake. With that nice little picture there of 
what happens if you if you smoke you'll always end up with teeth like that won't you there we go Demerara flake not particularly strong smell but I've heard good things about it so I'll try that later I'll probably put that in my mad pipe yeah yes and also because it's April Fool's Day I've got my little foolish vapor pipe which I've taken the original tank off and I've put on an Aspire Nauticalus Mini um, which it's not giving out a lot of vape but um, the flavour is a bit better on this than it is on the original tank so yeah I'm really pleased with that bowl um, it was about 20 pounds 1999 or something like that and I can't see there being many of these about um, so I'm going to look forward to this I think is going to be a, quite a rare bowl uh, I'm going to fill that in a bit and smoke it as always thank you for watching I hope you got some enjoyment out of that goodbye